bit of an anomaly there. It's a difficult map to really take too much away from in a best of one. But still, I think this will be one of the best series of the tournament. I agree with those guys. This should be absolutely epic as we get into it. We'll be NRG on the CT side here. Team Liquid kicking things off with two smokes. Molotovs as well. Ethan, watch out for him. An absolute crazy frag out will be pushing towards short. Jumps himself up and looking for those initial kills. He's got three players in front of him. Doesn't get the shot he's looking for. Nitro certainly does, though. Takes him down and they will commit towards the A side through the connector. Reese gets inside of the ladder room. He'll push around, probably already pinching off the other side of it. Oh, but Elise just does a 180 and smokes them both brilliantly. Takes back the position, and now it's all on Daps. That was lovely. As Daps has to go back toward spawn, Elise is already there as well. He's got the first, first, third of kills. And now it's the first round for Liquid. That's right. I knew there was a first in there somewhere, Henry. Hmm. If you're not first, you're last. Liquid is taking the lead, and they'll immediately buy up. Not any purchasing on the CT side. Watch this, this is sick. How does this survive Watch this, that? one, two. Yeah, that's wild. Great, high sensitivity player, as you can see. Very precise, great aim, and uh, it will be the full eco now for NRG. Liquid's certainly the favorites in this series, don't get me wrong, it's just like, NRG, they, they definitely give them a run for the money. They've beaten them quite a lot online recently. Um, we'll see whether that can translate here, as we'll see Naf like actually nading towards short. I don't think it's going to be... Oh, I was about to say not a super effective nade. It actually is very, very effective indeed. There's about 100 damage there, and we'll see him get the first kill as well. Not bad. Knows that there's a little bit more there, obviously, the boost, so expecting a presence. With the pistols pushed up, you favor perhaps energy? I'm still thinking Liquid's got to come out of this one. Surely. Yeah, I do agree. Like, on paper, sure. This is all just uh, speculation and feeling on the day, you know. I feel like NRG have actually got players by pound for pound. I think they've got equal fraggers to Liquid uh, on their day. But uh, I still consider Liquid to be a better team. Would be North as well that waits for them after this game, given that they already beat Liquid once, but didn't come up with Trumps in the best of three against NIP that only lasted two maps. NIP taking that and convincing themselves or themselves a place in the playoffs. They're here practicing today as our MIBR. Both have the day off, but still diligently working to prepare themselves for the playoffs. Liquid with a second round, pretty straightforward. Guns out now for energy. It's going to be all M4s. Little smoke toward the window. Breeze already going down past that splash up. Bounce splash if that turns away, but no one blinded and already staring him down. He falls Oof. immediately. Wow, that's... That is a slaughter as well. <laughs> Talk about him. Look at everyone else. Cirque and Ethan, where did they go? Yeah, everyone is just melted. Uh, not really any damage taken on the T side either. Naf just got a CZ, so, uh, you know, <laughs> why not? Pretty cool round from them. And it will be Fugly and Daps to try and pull this one back. I'm not sure there's much chance whatsoever. It looks like a clean sweep situation as they commit towards A. An aggressive attempt there from NRG, quite common when you don't really have much utility to work with there. Trying to push up towards middle. The flash was pretty decent, but by the time it went off, all the kills have been found. And it will be... That's guaranteed 3-0 here. They're actually not going to be fully saving the boat, but short. Sure. Challenging the connector. Daps goes down. And fuck, I'm not sure if he was spotted, but it looks like they've got his number. Three players waiting in the bend. They must have done as uh, they'll take him down as well. Clean sweep now. What a brilliant round that was. And Nath enters the round of a CZ, leaves with M4. So their money's just getting boosted as uh, the rounds go by. They're looking very efficient. It's going to be, I'd imagine, a partial buy here for NRG. Not the full EK. They might get some Kevlar. Wait for the circle up, though. That guy is an absolute monster. What's the lead calling for? They're looking up. Wants a flash over top. I guess he was trying to indicate where. You're right about Cirque on the op. That's such a... I, I think that's one of the best pickups a team's ever made. Yes. You take a gamble on a guy from Bulgaria who's not even in their top lineup, who's arguably oh, right. not even tier one of themselves, and he's been so promising for them. We've got two pistol kills. This is Taco and Naf down, giving a chance and a gun to Cirque. Yeah, this is actually a little bit problematic. I'm not even sure how these kills come in because they've got no armor, only one Deagle of P250. Now they have to commit towards B, and that's where the CTs are rotating in towards. And I think Nitro might be in a bit of trouble here. He will get the first and follows it up with a second. All of a sudden, it's looking great. Out of nowhere, Breezy, though. Excellent player. Twists on low HP. One bullet will take him down, but they know where Breezy is. And Breezy is excellent. But unfortunately, I don't think they'll be converting this one. They're running towards A. Thought he might give that a go. Yeah. They are indeed running toward a Twists with the bomb in hand, 7 HP, smoke goes down. If he sprays through that, twist. yeah, he knows it. He's not in a position to do so, but was still a little bit cautious. So a Krieg picked up. Window still being held by Nitro. Three kills in the round for Nitro. He finds himself at 7-0. Elise was seven as well. That's the, the two 
it seems weird to say this, but the two old boys on the team. Yeah, that the old duo. so weird. That was the duo. That was a formidable duo. Yeah, that was like 2016. This team started to look a little bit sharper. Like those two with the entry fragging, it was just uh, pretty unbelievable to watch them play, especially on maps like Cash, where they could get good spawns, oh, boost yeah. each other up, and just run around with the AKs and like little to no strategies, just absolute firepower as they were so aggressive but don't really see that much more it's a much more methodical team since Zeus came in uh, trying to replicate the likes of Astralis and those winning ways and obviously doing a fantastic job considered uh, firmly within the top three right now not many trophies to speak of at all really but uh, still plenty of uh, top two finishes and podium placements as we get into that double orb setup Cirque and Daps in game leader picking up that second duel as they go aggressive once again. It's Fugly to try and find his first kill. It's happening to be careful. They're looking into the wall. That will cost him his life. Don't think he expected such an aggressive push, but here's Daps. Nails the first shot. Still work to do here. If he misses this, could be in trouble. That's the B side open now. Breezy though with that creek. Fantastic work with the scope. He'll get another as well. This guy is an absolute aim star. As uh, he left. Oh, Fugly in the back. Of course, the wall man coming in. It's actually Fugly who comes from the underpass there. Nice clean round for an RG. They are on the board. Won't be that much reset potential. They've still got a round in hand if they lose this one. But Team Liquid, that's the first time they've given one away. They might slow the pace down. We've seen quite fast approaches from them so far. Maybe they've thrown in a execution at this stage. We'll see which way they're inclined. Actually sending three players towards middle. And Cirque to defend. Is there a smoke to block his vision? Almost certainly will be. There it is. We'll throw the incendiary in return just to delay them pushing over toward those mid-boxes and just make that smoke a little bit. Less effective. It's interesting how we haven't seen much cash, but it's we never usually a default ban. It's usually a late ban in this veto, and it's usually because everyone can play it. It's like the opposite of nuke, where it's like, oh, we don't play nuke. It's no, everyone plays cash, so it's not yeah. usually brought out. It, it's weird, actually. Like, if you look at the online seasons in Europe, we barely saw cash. But when yeah, I was doing ECS over here, they were playing it almost every every series. They were playing cash. Yeah, the North Americans love it. it um, yeah, and they traditionally always have because it was played in North America before it was played in EU. Yeah, that's true. Because the original version was Sal and it was brought in by ESCA. Just like Season used to be a North American map. Yep, true. <laughs> We used um, to play that in Source and the Americans had the advantages on their overrides with like a six months experience in the map. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Cash was like that. I think Cash has gone more European at times in 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 CS:GO. I think the skill's been more European, obviously, for the longest time. Um, it, it's interesting though, because I think even with in lands as of late, with Astralis actually playing Nuke, I wouldn't be surprised if Cash was there or there about the least played map right now. Yeah, I, I think that that might be accurate. Like it was. I guess new for the longest time, but now more teams Maybe are getting better. Dust2 as well, to be fair. I, that, that is weird, isn't it? Dust2 we don't see enough of, and it's such a hype map. Everyone loves it when it comes in. But uh, either way, here's a Leech opening things up. Ethan goes down to the flames, thrown towards the shadow position. So Cirque in a lot of trouble here. Oh my goodness, even more so now. We'll have to smoke himself out. He's the orb, remember? He essentially takes away all his vision and angles to work with, as now the bomb's planted, boosted up. Nitro thought he had to kill that. Well, he follows it up and gets it with the Glock. There will be a chance for Cirque here to get one more, but First the double kill Glock. with the Glock. Close range burst fire. Uh, something we don't see enough of, I would say, but Nitro with three kills. Here to you, enter the round of UMP, leaves with the orb. So uh, that is the reset technically, but like we said, the clean round before, NRG managed to get another buy together here. Suck. Won a big game from him. He's 1 and 5 right now. Liquid 5 1 up. Cirque sitting, sitting inside of the old connector. Just going to drop down, actually take that off and look underpass, see if anyone's there. Likewise, the op on the T side in the hands of Nitro just waits for a push. Not uncommon, you'll get one every now and then. Not a lot of mid-presence so far from Liquid as they were anticipating perhaps someone or hoping perhaps someone would. So Twists will head in the underpass direction now. Try and work out toward the window. They can't really afford to send Cirque back there for another peek, so he'll get right of access, right of passage. Ooh, That's best. a whiffed run boost. Yeah. Well, no one there to spot it, so uh, it will go unnoticed. We'll see Smokes now towards Connector and the window. You see that one player towards Short. That's going to be Breezy. He's had some great shots so far. Five kills to his name, but there's five rounds of the ball for Liquid. That's the problem. So hold sure, got a slight gap in the smoke there, trying to look for anyone sneaking through. Not going to spot anything just yet, but Taco's en route. 
to hit the 40-second mark. There's still four Molotovs and a couple of smokes as well. So those will be deployed right now. Breezy flushed out of position. He actually has to fall back now completely. He's lost that short control, and they're potentially going to be heading towards that B-bomb side as well. Good response incendiary, though. That's going to buy him six seconds or so before they commit, so he daps can reposition. They've actually got three players here. So that incendiary is absolutely everything, but still need to find the kills here. Taps backs away. It's knocked out of it immediately. Taco follows up to take down Parisi. Ethan only gets two himself, and that's the only two in the round that they've found thus far. Bomb in the hands of Taco with two HP goes to be planted. Smoke for Sirk, excuse me. As he tries to fire in, I imagine they're going to look to save here in a moment because they've got no money. With that, Molotov yes. as well. Sorry? That, with that Molotov coming in. Ah, yes, okay. We were on the same page. Yeah. Slightly different sentence. I had an Oxford comma, you didn't. <laughs> I'd like to add that in. Uh, well, there it is. It will be Sirk to. Uh, be denied access to the site. That one Molotov was uh, absolutely everything, and they'll have to save the AWP, the M4. Uh, they don't have that much loss bonus, as you can see. They're only going to be a second stage after this one. So even after saving an AWP and an M4, it's a tactical timeout situation for sure. With Cirque's AWP power, if we had seen more from it, I'd say, yeah, let's go for the four, so we need some rounds. Maybe not so much now. You might just play uh, as long as it's a protect the president. Cirque will uh, be holding the AWP. That guy, man, honestly, I'm gonna. he's been living down here. He's got like a, car, uh, a residence card down here now. He's probably going to get a citizenship. President launders its prime minister in Canada. I'm taking away <laughs> your passport. Doesn't he, isn't he back on home soil now? Until I don't it? know. No. <laughs> what is he's home just, soil? Uh, I don't know. I, I assume he's from Canada. That would be home soil for him. Is it? I don't know. President? <laughs> well, either way, this is the tactical timeout, as we said. NRG will have to sit back and wait, work out what their options are here. They've got about $2,000 per player. The M4 for Fugly, the AWP for Cirque. Uh, if they force by this, they still won't have a decent chance of winning the round. It will just be um, them throwing the money away, potentially winning it. I, I would say it's worth it. Like, you just need to see Cirque. We need to see something out of you now. Let's, let's go for it. But... Uh, We'll see which way they're inclined. Do they want to go for the investment here at all or just stay on the weapons they have? It looks like three USPs, one AWP. Where will Cirque position himself? Presumably an aggressive position to kick things off. He actually gets towards that connector, but he will be molotov off, smoked out of position. That's a shot you'd expect him to hit, to be honest. And he might go down here as well. So much utility in his direction. Fugly will be dropped after finding the first frag. That's the M4 going down, but Daps recovers it. Breezy wants to push up. Gun available to him, to his right. He recognizes that now, picks it up. Should anyone have been watching from Horseshoe and saw that gun disappear off the ground, they would know immediately what that meant, but no one's there. So he'll get away with that twist. Only just gets position on the balcony now, and he's off to the races. Who doesn't like to go to the races? Your silence says everything, Henry. I thought it was a rhetorical question. Well, it was, but... Still. <laughs> but still, you want an answer? Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. I would love to go to the races with you. Excellent. And the hockey. Yeah. Might do that tonight. Every single team in the NHL playing except for the Dallas Kings tonight. There you go. Cirque takes down Nitro. If there was 32 teams, which next year there will be with Seattle, all of them would have been playing. But one team had to sit out. There we go. Cirque can go for more. Spots the head. Knows the board sandwich. I said Dallas Kings. Someone called me out on that. It's uh, LA Kings. I was thinking about Dallas Stars. I was just uh, conflating the two. Cirque waiting for the shot on the angle. Can't quite get there. And doesn't matter, though, because Breezy's on the flank. He already cuts off Twist, heading back toward Tetris. Taco at Firebox. Utility is king in that position, but so is the angle for Breezy. And not a lot of HP for Naf. They've got a round back. NRG will find their second. That's so strange, isn't it? They looked like they're lost in the gun rounds, and as soon as they have three USPs and a bit more assertive play towards middle, they have the M4 and the AWP. Cirque starts to come to life. That's his third kill in the game so far. He has two in this round. Breezy with the picked up Krieg. It just goes to show sometimes that that was a bit of a weird situation. doesn't really apply, but if you do lose a weapon, you know they've got just pistols. You need to try and get rid of them. Even if it is a bit of a risk, throw those weapons away because they come, can come back and haunt you, as we'll see Liquid now. Is this a technical timeout? I'm not sure. We'll just have to work Sit it out for here ourselves. and figure it out. Yeah. We don't need help. There we go. Well, technical pause. I need help, but that's different. We will see, presumably just a small sound issue. There's never normally anything I know too that, complicated. To yeah, when out. we were starting this out, DAPS had a sound issue at the in the warm-up period, so maybe something of that nature is returned. 
Maybe word.exe has stopped working. <laughs> Advin, please, my word.exe has uh, crashed. Can we just get yeah. it reinstalled? Can we get Clara in here to reinstall that, please? <laughs> That's a blast in the past. I forgot about that. <laughs> Damn you, Clara. <laughs> Done it again. <laughs> uh, it's unreal. Well, headset's back on. Presumably, we'll be underway momentarily. 6-2. Oh, it was a chair issue. I haven't had that one in a long, a long time. Damn, wow. I remember when the gaming chairs were first introduced in like early 2015. Like some players hated them so much. I think it was Michael Elliott played on his knees once. <laughs> Do you remember that? Uh, no comment. Yeah, I think that. I'm that. betting plays <laughs> okay. on his knees all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was quite good. Well done. <laughs> well, I think that did happen in all seriousness. But uh, apparently a chair was uh, wiggling around. So I had to sort that out. We've had uh, a technical swap out of the chair. <laughs> And we'll get I think they just put, a lot of them roll around. If the yeah, get something, just lock the wheels down. Or yeah, indeed. Well, there we go. It will be NRG winning that that sort of eco with the saved weaponry. Like we said, it sucks alive. Anything can happen. Six two over Liquid. Still looking very good. Standard smoke towards the mid area. And we'll see three players head towards B. So maybe a change of uh, methodology here from Liquid. Daps jumping up, using the incendiaries to buy himself a little bit of time, deny that rush. All the grenades hitting his position though. How did he not die there? They looked like they were both dead on. Down to 39, I guess. Oh, the barrel saved him. Thank you, Sliggy. So the barrel actually protected him. Both nades dead on, but the barrel protected him from the blast of one. That's pretty, pretty unreal. That is actually pretty nuts. I didn't even know that barrel had a gap behind it, so there you go. Unlucky. Well, slow pace, but back toward middle. Minute and seven still to play within the round. Daps alive still somehow. Ethan. Just waiting an hour as Elise will take over toward Connector Nitro with him. So we'll see the entry duo back in effect, perhaps, as Elise, as we've seen in recent history, is on the Krieg. Desperately into position, but he's going to be Molotov off. That forces him in rotation into hiding at the vent. Opens up a lot of room on the A site. Bomb's still not planted, however. He's against the wall, just getting into position now. Good play from Fugly. Rotated off it, thought better of it. Went back through the window, and he'll take back mid as he takes down Twist. Gives them a lot to work with because now Cirque has a little bit more freedom towards CT, but Fugly's sense perished, and we're back to problems. Oh, I That's thought That's got to go that. right through the five hole. Yeah. What the? I looked like Cirque was dead on, but. Daps, two versus one, no kit. Might not get his first kill, but no, Nitro a little bit too sharp there. And now that is the point where the reset is very detrimental. You can see two players sub $2,000, but they do have 5k on suck. He could buy the AWP again. If I could get the M4, it would be a similar situation to what they won before. There it is. The AWP comes out. I like it. They are confident in their own ability. You've got to respect that. If they're willing to throw all the money away and put the pressure on Cirque once again, like we said, one of the absolute most exciting AWPers we have in the game right now. Really cool to watch when he's uh, firing on all cylinders. Let's see what he can do here in round number 10. He'll be playing towards B. So mixing his position up slightly. Daps was playing here before. And uh, they may be setting up for a B split here. We'll see. Players heading back towards the Bartmans. And went deep. So no damage done. Ethan stagged up. He'll force off the angle. Smoke goes down. He wants to rotate around and get a better position because if he can't have window, he's got to at least watch the extremities and entrances to the site. So he'll wait for Taco to arrive. Secondary smoke. They're buying a lot of time here. That said, it's the last defensive smoke and it's a minute to go. So better hope that op M4 combo works out well for them. Good position inside of the kitchen. This could actually catch... Okay, twist crosshair placement suggests to me that he's aware. Canada versus Canada. Oh, Canada's going to win. Daps in the corner. Traded out. Good play from Nitro. Twist is lost, but meanwhile, inside of the site, Elise has already taken position, and the bomb will enter with relative ease. Then we'll do what he can. Swarms around him. In comes Elise. Swings wide. Spots him up. Tags him through the wall. And then Naf joins in. 
Smart that Naf did because that allowed Elise to preset toward the doorway, but thankfully Taco already had the vent covered off, so there's really no access at all. And it's just about saving the M4 at this point. It really is, this full spike. Not as promising as the last sort of eco situation, but Fugly, that's a lovely little sequence from him. Might better save the M4. It won't be the most exciting save. His teammates are going to be full eco after this, but he is keeping Liquid relatively modest. You can see that money's not amazing. They've just lost three players for nothing, really. And Nitro won't be losing the round, but still. A little bit frustrating for the in-game leader there to have so many of his players drop just to one of them. And actually, Fugly gets the AWP. Breezy finds an AK-47. Once again, they're in business. They actually have a chance here. That's all down to Fugly. Fantastic work in that respect. They might be tempted to force into this one now and give it another go. It's been a really rough half, but they've got another fighting chance here if they want to force into it. What's the quiet? A tactical timeout. Definitely worth a discussion. Doesn't look like they'll go for it again. USBs and the AWP and the AK. It was enough before. Maybe it can be... Enough again, we'll see. Yeah, that's right. One of the two rounds they won was with we'll lesser weapons. Though. Okay. There it is. Swap it back over. This is a spawn based thing. Yeah. You fucking had the wind. Nope. Got there as well with no utility. If obviously no utility suggests there's not going to be much done in that position from Liquid. They're not going to be that careless. But it would have given a sniff at it. Ooh, good play from Ethan. Slides up, gets a dig, and gets away before they can shoot back. The AK is go. going off. Breezy's gotten two. Mid again. Again, the problem. And bomb down. AK gathered. Excuse me. Not an AK, rather. Krieg. Took me a minute. I thought it was a FAMAS on the floor. It was a Krieg, and now it's going to be an after going down. That's the same thing they all over again. They should just have two players with rifles and the rest of them USBs. That's yeah. the only Running thing. Running gun. That's, that's the formula. That's what's working for them. But that's the thing, that does work because then you just throw caution to the wind. You let your star players off the leash and they're challenging with frags instead of sitting back and getting smoked out and taking out position. This is where NRG need to realize they actually have, like I said, pound for pound, they can actually uh, go toe to toe with Liquid. In some cases, out duel them. Why aren't they taking more aggressive takes as uh, seems to be so efficient for them? The only rounds they're winning is when they actually do get up close. So I'd like to see more of that, to be honest, but you can't really justify it without. The, the, the utility and the, the money behind it. So I do understand why they're not presenting that every single round, but still, you can't really argue with the results so far. Daps with the double kill, though. Great follow-up utility as well. Breezy has looked fantastic in this map so far. Another 2K for him as Nitro is left in an unwinnable situation. The 5-on-1, all his teammates gone. The money's in the bin, and uh, I don't think he'll be saving this orb either. He'll work his magic as best he can. This is incredible that energy is going to pull this back on those two guns alone because now we look at an 8-4 score with very little money left for Liquid. They could pull this half back into a winnable situation. Not half, but the game itself, that is. Because if, if they got blown out again and we went down to 9-2 and it continued to go in that trajectory, I think there was no chance. Well, there we go. Another frustrating round for Liquid to give up. They have looked at the better teams so far, but that was convincing from NRG, shutting down that B approach. In a very clean fashion, it was Daps that found the opening two kills and set his teammate up tremendously well. So there should be the eco here from Liquid. They've got third stage loss bonus and about 2k per player, so they don't need to force this one. They get 2400 on top of that. That's what they have right now, so that'll be more than enough for AKs, armor, and basic utility. So maybe some PT50s at the very most. As the Empors comes through, Zeus able to get stuck in at this point and help them out. Probably been a bit frustrated with some of the rounds he's seen go by, but uh, they've still got an A4 lead on the T side of Mirage. But now NRG starting to warm up and showing us what they're capable of. And it's breezy at the end, next to Cirque, one of the absolute stars of this team. Such a fantastic aimer, so aggressive as well. I love watching him play. And he's got the AK-47, so watch out for that. As they just go for a sort of B rush here, is it? They've left the bomb. All the way back, so I suggest they won't be completely committing. Breezy, on the other hand, taking matters into his own hands, will actually be in towards that underpass. Go down in the end to the clock, but he had two kills to his name already. Molotov down in the underpass, as well as the nade in conjunction with it, thrown out by Ethan. Oh, that lovely metallic sound of bullets on helmets. Fugly doesn't mind it much as he gets the shot back. Great play from Cirque. Good reactions. And then Ethan steps out to take Naf. We go 8-5. to five. Guns back up for Liquid this round. Although no AWP. They'll be just shy of that. Won't matter. 2700 for the AK. And you got some room for armor and utility. You may even get a liege on the Krieg. You might. There it is. It's out. Dap's still holding on to his on the other side, by the way. Absolutely is. He had that double kill towards B. Why not? Fugly goes towards the underpass instead of short this time. Let's see what
well, he's made of is actually a full A salad attack. So he's got so much intel. They can start rotating towards A already. But Liquid have already made their way in. This is what you call like a, a contact play. There's no smokes down that is going cleanly in. The flashbangs are there to push back in the orbit. It sucks. A little bit out of position here. Now the smoke's already deployed. That buys him so much extra time. The Molotov's perfectly done. A nice loose strategy here from Liquid just to abuse the fact the orbits might be adjusting and changing things up. As now Ethan. Takes a lot of damage and scoring down to 20 HP, but Fugly still fighting back once again in the flanks, doing a great job in that respect as Nitro he'll control CT spawn. Four on three. Fugly has to wait for his teammates here. Can't really afford to commit. You saw the shadow there as he dropped down. I like how he even shot at the shadow. His reactions yeah. were such that he was like, oh, no, wait, that's not him. Breezy daps, each with kills, at least in an attempt to get back to the site. So score is now two. But what was two is now zero from NRG's side. Elise with both of the kills to close it for Liquid 9-5. Still don't like the shadows in this game. No, me neither. Like, if you can't see your own, just remove them. We don't have the technology to add shadows in to your own POV, then probably just get rid of them. Just get rid of them, yeah. It's a massive disadvantage yeah, or advantage. It's just because, like, you, you have to such a... Like, this especially, like, that's just such a tell. And then you don't know it either. Like, not no one's really going to remember that. Yeah. There's a few spots where, like, you can't remember... Two. Dust two doors, yeah. uh, and the back stairs on overpass. Uh, and the bathroom's an overpass when you walk in from the yep. T side. The, yeah, that's right. Yes, that one is especially, more so than the back stairs. Yeah. Um, yeah. They need to do something about it. Yeah, I, I asked them when I asked them that in 2011. Oh, oh, taco. Oh, Cirque. Slow it down. He would have had an easy kill. 2011. Yeah, I asked uh, Valve. I said, the one thing I hate about Source, the fact you can't see your own shadows. I said, oh, that's interesting. Never thought about that. We'll put it in the next game. Never did anything about, about that. think about that. Yeah. There you you go. absolutely have to be able to see your own if the other person can see yours. That's like, yeah, that's like having a red tracer around you in gun game. It's true. Well, it is going to be another successful approach. Maybe not for long, though. Ethan arrives, and we know how strong his aim can be. It's a talented squad here in RG, and it's the final round. No saving at this point. He'll be coming in from the spawn position, frozen and sendery towards the A round to allow himself some positional control. He does find the shot. So does Breezy, but now it's Daps with the AWP. If he had a bit more HP, there could be a chance here, but I think there's now a smoke going to be deployed towards the connector, so that's his chance. It's pretty much eradicated at this point. Not really sure what he can do with this one. Jump up towards the window. He's got a kit, but if he had a smoke, maybe there's a chance, or even an M4. He might be able to do something with this, but it looks like double digits has been achieved, and I don't think that tells the full story. Liquid definitely were worth a lot more than 10 rounds, but fair play to NRG. Their individual skill is what got them at least in a position where they're competitive on the map. Ed's uh, just give it up. <laughs> Trying to find that M4. Not going to work out for him, and it will be 10-5. It's just, you have to remember, the rounds they actually won, two of which were with AWP, Rifle saved and three USPs. They did have a nice spell of three rounds. They broke the money down, but I felt like Liquid were uh, worth a lot more. I can assure you, Team Liquid of 10, not NRG. There we go. Oh, now the logos are gone. This is all, all sorts of funky. And uh, yeah, let's get it off. We'll go into... <laughs> get it off the screen now. We'll I'm get into it. the next half, and we'll see the smokes being purchased. On the T side, it will be NRG going for the execution. This is pretty standard. If they use the standard smokes, which is smoking towards steps, jungle, flash over, flash spawn, and then try and shut down the CT spawn player with the plant. We'll see what happens here. Oh, it's actually a variation. They're smoking spawn instead and connect. I actually like this one. I think it actually provides you a bit more cover from the long range USB at the spawn position. And Nitro, oh, the CZ, he's going to do well here. Oh, maybe not. His teammates will, though. Oh, my goodness. It will be Nap and Elise just lighting them up there. It was Nitro who was supposed to find those kills at close range, but here comes a long-range flank. It will be Taco waiting patiently. They're going to check this, and he might get both kills. Oh, that's beautiful. Takes down both, and it will be Breezy. Five and one. His best chance is now to try and farm some cash and get a couple of kills. Another 600 bucks could be it, but now he smoked off. That's going to be round, and he'll just save the armor. Taco wants it, though. Oh, the flashbang. Oh, I'm not going to get it. That was a nice try, though. So I think they buy here with the fact that Breezy can afford armor. Yep, there he goes, gets the AK. So this was a lead. That was a great shot. I didn't even notice that was from Murder Hole. So one AK purchase. They might not actually fully invest it as good as a tactical purchase because Breezy had armor. So they'll get deagles around it. So one AK just to try and sabotage the money of Liquid uh, going into the next round. So they're going to buy AK still. If Breezy goes down and doesn't save the AK, he'll be on a pistol, but that's not the end of the world. Yeah, I like this approach. I feel like a player of his capabilities just shows his confidence that he's happy to do this and uh, knows he can cause some damage here with 15 kills to his name so far. Back down middle with the single AK, and Elise will pin 
Ethan directly to the wall. We'll do the same to Cirque, but out from the window, Nitro. Only collecting one so far and taking a good amount of damage for it, but doesn't need to re-peek on this, really. It's down to just Breezy and Daps. Bomb topside mid still, and is working in the same direction that Breezy was. And is. And will continue to do so. Fair play. There it is. Oh my goodness, this guy's good. One AK. And eco players now find themselves in a two on two with the bomb planted. Fair play. It's a fair play, Henry. It really is. Well, they're actually probably going to win this, judging by the setup. Absolutely, they could. This crossfire, they got to walk in. Daps below, gets all the information. Cross four. Oh, it's Taco to respond. At least got the shot very quickly on a breezy, but Daps still has the information. Taco's got other ideas. Oh. A little overkill from Taco, but Show they survive the round. Now, this is the thing. Your team liquid, your CT side, yeah. you've, lo you've lost four players in this round. Your reinvestment going into now, what will be the first gun round, is actually going to leave you with lesser weapons yeah. than what energy have, excuse me. Absolutely. That's what that tactical purchase is designed to do. They didn't win the round, but we said that coming into this. So all he's going to do is try and take money out of the pockets of team liquid, and that he does that perfectly. Well, four kills. Like, that's brilliant. They get the bomb planted as well. They have a very strong buy. Liquid will have four rifles. You can see Ali, no grenades whatsoever. Uh, Nitro of an MP9 and a smoke. They, they are struggling. So this is a chance for Energy to get back into this. And uh, we'll see what they can do. And this is the approach we expect, to be honest. Alij pushing up towards middle. Not the best shots, but they might be able to get the double. Ethan will shut them down. Had to be a little bit crisper there uh, with the taps and not commit to the full spray. But after the Nitro, he might be able to get the AK-47 and shut this one down. There is a player towards Palace as we go into the three-on-three. -three. Taco spots one. That's going to be Daps, but he's going to get it. No problem at all. Daps without the awareness of the presence of a player in towards Connector. Assumed it was clear. And now the B-side's open. Ethan, he's going to take a risk and just jump through. Will that smoke dissuade him? Definitely not. He's just going straight in. Yeah, yeah I think he's well aware that that smoke being that deep doesn't really account so much because they still need to race to the site. Nav gets there and is spotted by Ethan. Head removed. So AK for Nitro. Taco on the M4. No kits on either of them. And a bomb that is planted with Fugly still inside of the apartments. And, oh, look at this. He's going to one-up on Taco. I don't think he's hurt it, but he's certainly ready for the position. And there's no chance Taco gets by this AK unless Fugly does something absolutely abnormal with it. Taco's gone. I was about to say, Taco plays that position on the CT side. He might be aware of those kind of angles, but, uh, yes, you're right. Absolutely taken down. And uh, it will be now Nitro who's got to save the AK. This is what we expected though. NRG still have some life in this game. That's going to be a full reset now. Liquid, if they save the AK, probably force up around it, considering they're going to be double eco regardless. So we'll see what happens there. There's Nitro looking for some exit kills here. Ethan with three. Another huge name in the fragging machine of NRG. Great work. Then there's that mid-push coming in from the CTs. That, that was the right call, considering it had such a lack of utility. Push up there, you can see Ethan though was given way too much time to reposition. He had a flashbang in his hand when they committed, but it's an awkward angle for the CTs. He finishes things off there with the B-bomb site. Three kills, and it will be 12-6. And like I said, they'll force up around this AK. So CZ, a Deagle, one UMP, one MP9, and it looks like a quick approach from NRG. They need to be careful here. Ethan takes out Nitro. Very quick approach indeed. Not only that, we've got Naf for Liquid trying to push up in the apartments with an MP9. Fugly's around the corner and AK at the ready. Certainly very much at the ready. We'll take out Naf. Taco and Elige. Back out to Catwalk. Boost up for the Deagle. Well, that's both rifles gone, so... Yep. Shouldn't be much chance here. And there's Twist. I've seen him do some unspeakable things with the CZ before. Let's see if he can find Foreman. Not the most promising position. He's hoping someone will just overlook it and he can get a CZ kill, find the AK. The bombs can be planted and he's got flames in front of him. He'll just have to sit there and hold tight. So Energy making a case back into the map. Overpass is next. That's picked by Liquid as Ethan takes out Taco. Away, they've got this round. It's all she wrote, Hank. Indeed, it is. UMP and CZ to say might as well. You're going to be full eco. We'll have something there at least to maybe find a kill or two. But NRG, like we said, after that round, they are pretty much back into it now. Twelve seven.
NRG back in the driving seat on the T side. Two rounds in a row. It will presumably be three. We'll see. AK. AK's across the board, I should say. And this is a bit of a gimme round, but you never know. We've seen crazier things happen. And full eco victories are going to stack towards the B side. Looks like all five players making their way towards that side of the map. And there's the first kill. Daps gets tagged out, but he does take down the lead in the process. Ethan will smoke off toward the top side of connector. A little boost in the corner of the boxes at B. Liquid hoping that again someone will run in and overlook the position. Maybe they'll get a kill from that. It would be a gun picked up potentially for twist, but usually if they're that close to the site, bomb going down. Can't really jump off the boxes and afford to grab it and get away with it. Taco's position is fantastic after that boost, though. All already pushed up into the apartments. However, one step ahead and with a bit of foresight, Cirque's looking in that direction, staring at it. Look at that. Thinks he's so clever. Cirque has other ideas. Pretty smart, I have to say. A lot of people just wouldn't consider the possibility in your silver matches that most of chat is. <laughs> Five on two, Christ. Well, I like making friends. Oh my, yes, you're very good at it. And we'll see Nathly with the boost. And they're just looking for one kill. That's pretty much as good as it's going to get. They can buy up next round. It's again, third stage loss bonus. They're not going to actually have the most promising by Taco investing in a deagle in the previous round or this round. Um, it's got a Actually, leave them hamstrung again. I would say with the lead they have, maybe just take a partial buy again and wait till you can get the orbs out or your utility. You are the better team. Um, but NRG, if you go up against them and try and take their heads up jewels without the utility, that's when they can actually buy back. So I'd say, uh, for me, at least, if I was a coach right now, I'm calling a timeout. Um, and I'm saying, let's take a partial buy. We'll take Teagle's armor, see what we can do. We'll do a nice little stack here. Like 4K per player, this isn't enough for me to have a compelling buy, especially with Taco buying that Deagle. Shouldn't really have done that, to be honest. So I'd say partial buy. There's the timeout. So, Zeus, I'm looking at you for the call here. But they're going to buy. Nav's got the M4 straight in there. So they're going to have to readjust now and maybe get the shotguns out, CZs. We'll see. Nav flies purchased up first. Twist will join him. And it's working out how they get a compromise here. It's not a team that needs the AWP, but it would certainly help. Taco's on the MP9. Nitro, he could get the M4 armor. He would have little to no utility there. We'll see what he wants to do with this. Does he go for mass instead? Maybe a UMP. Goes to the M4. Might have to just go Kevlar without the helmets and get a smoke flash. Goes for the HE instead. So you can see it's not too bad. It's just the fact you have no kits, no orb, little utility. MP9 out as well. I may be just taking a partial buy here, but this is definitely still winnable. NRG firm upper hand in this round. This will be indicative as to whether they can pull it back. And back over to mid late. We'll throw out a smoke to cover off the window. So there is a late mid take potentially in the cards for NRG. No ops for anyone. Nav still stays inside that window despite that that smoke goes down. Wants to hold the cinders. He can jump up and get back to the ladder room quite quickly, which he's done. And if he wants, he can exclamation mark FP drop back down into the window as well. To slide up. Molotov already pushed through that. We'll leave Elise with no choice but to stay in the outside of the second arch. The smoke, therefore, could have allowed an entry, but Elise is still holding it with close proximity. Taps coming out from underpass will smoke higher. That'll allow an approach down catwalk. Naf's really the hot hand at this point. Oh, and he's going to back it off. Interesting to sit in the corner as well, because if anyone goes this direction, he'll be able to control the headshot, but he lets them go by rather than sitting in the ladder room. It's now Taco that comes under. A lot of scrutiny, including the flames. Might as well save at this point. Like, you've lost the B site. You have no access points. You've got one smoke and a couple of flashes. Unless Naf can light them the hell up here. I don't think there's much of a chance. There's the first. He actually dinks the second as well. Now there is a fighting chance. As uh, they'll still continue to probe here. But one by one, like I said, really no utility to work with. They're going to get picked off. And uh, this is NRG right back in this game now. Liquid. Brought up into the round, but didn't have the orb, didn't have the incendiaries, all the kits. So going for that retake in the five on four, with all of those variables considered, I would say that wasn't the most intelligent retake, really. But I uh, gave it a go, found that one kill. I think the dink persuaded them to go for a little bit more. 
But uh, four players surviving for an RG, they're right back in this map. Oh, they're absolutely in this. This is 12-9, three rounds between them. Liquid's struggling to get things done, and they're struggling to get the money as a result of it. So certainly can be a problem moving forward for them. Ethan takes the AK. Four in a row. Bomb's gone down every single round, man. It's a good point in this half. Yeah, it has. And that, that's, that says, typically, the train game a little earlier was uh, very rare that you were getting uh, CT side of wins even with the bomb plants and so frequently. Usually, if the bomb's been going down that much, then it's indicative that eventually the rounds are going to go the way of energy, right? Mm. The T side's eventually going to start accumulating the points from the post plants. So Liquid has problems. They've definitely got to shut that down. Yeah, well, they got two M4s here. If they can replicate some of the success of NRG in the first half with this sort of setup, that'd be great. Already confirmed their victory on the map. They give this one up, though, and they find double digits. NRG could actually turn this on his head. Launders said he favored NRG coming into this one. You can see why they are a very efficient, deadly squad. Even after the disappointing first half, they gave themselves enough wiggle room to actually get back into this, especially with the financial decisions Liquid have made. Miss smoke though, really not ideal, but that was actually designed to allow Ethan to prove up here. That's going to be the first kill. Scrappy one, but Nitro gets it. And the full commitment towards A coming in momentarily. Three players A ramp, Breezy, the aim machine waiting in the palace. Kills the Liege, gets his head shot. Nitro does get back through bench, pushes the smoke and plays it to perfection because he gets one and gets away. It's a very risky play. And this is even more risky from Nath. Jumps over top of the sandwich, drops down, gets two. And it's Cirque that finally responds, but he's left in a one versus two. 17 seconds as well. Tries to fake the plant, pull them up from CT, but Taco's already firing at him. And Cirque expects that they're going to be back out toward jungle. They're not. It's a double position. Oh, Taco wow. went down there. Low HP on Nitro. That could have been a problem, but he gets the kill. That's really well played. Nap especially. What a play that is. Jumping through the smoke right down there towards a sandwich. And two players right in front of him. Nitro gets a couple of scrappy kills. The second one it wasn't clean either, but he gets it done. And then Nap like this was the play of the round. This is what secured it. And I did say if Liquor can replicate some of that success from NRG, they might be right back in this game. They win it with two rifles, three pistols, just like NRG did in the first half. And now they've got the double orb set up. This is where they wanted to be. This is why I wanted them to wait maybe on that round where they force board in technically with four rifles and the MP9. This is where they should be. They should have maybe taken the partial there. This is where they look most deadly. And as you can see, it's Taco to open things up, taking down Daps. He was not expecting the orb there. And that's going to be the cue for NRG to bundle into the A side and see if they can trade it back. Twists, EWP, Nitro, burning, and... So that's cool, they wow. lock him in the corner, then wall bang him down. Yeah, they didn't actually even hit him with the flames. He just got absolutely wrecked through the box. Pretty sick. Twist tries to fire him blind, but it's a leash with his vision that steps around to take out Cirque Bomb drop temporarily. I say temporarily, that could be permanently, because look at the position from Twist. They flash him off, that'll give them a little bit more... Room to move, to wiggle, get towards Shadow, and then Ethan will advance to try and grab it. Twist Kid and hit the shot, so Bomb's picked up. If he could have hit that, that Bomb was sitting there for pretty much the rest of the round, I dare say, because then it would have been a four on two, and it would have been even more problematic. Now, Fugly, getting aggressive, has an angle to take down a leash. Twist as well as in the same position. They've got to be so careful here, because Fugly's got headshot after headshot presented to him. And Ethan actually got the last one, fair enough. But great read from Fugly, and this is going to be a reset for Liquid. This is worst case Ontario. Oh my goodness, Taco goes down as well. You're absolutely right there. 13-10, but they give it up. They got the first couple of picks there as well, and it all falls apart. Twist can't hit the shots of the AWP. That gives up the bomb, and then Ethan. That's the wallbang we are talking about. The Molotov down in spawn. Nitro was locked in position. Then, Fugly gets himself boosted up on the bomb site here. Starts hitting every single shot. as Ethan to close things out as well. What a tag team duo that was on the A site. Taco, excuse me, dropped in CT spawn towards the end. They saved nothing, and... Uh, in terms of investment, I think a few of them have made quite a significant one. Twist and Elige purchasing up armor and CZs. Nitro, no armor. This is actually where we'll see things potentially tied up. We'll see how deep they can get here. As they still have to negate these Deagles and CZs. Great shot. It's breezy. Just waited it out. Taco was boosted up and the head gets removed. Molotov down, Nitro with one only as they walk out, but Cirque and Ethan certainly ready to take down both he and Elige. 
Said in that order, you could have argued it was the other. It was pretty much at the exact same time that the bodies dropped. Twist still waiting with the CZ. This body is going to close down afterward. This is 13-11. And Liquid in trouble. I'd say Liquid in deep water, but then they just fit in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but now Liquid has to take another eco. This is really getting quite worrying for them, considering the half they had in the first and... The way they look to be running away with it, we're winning the pistol as well. It really has fallen apart for them. NRG looking very comfortable over there. Is this another sound issue? I'm not sure. Looks like their coaches are silent on the liquid side, so it must be technical. Maybe another chair is playing up. Damn chairs. Mind of their own, I swear. Speaking of chairs, Face It was auctioning one of the major chairs off. The I say one of a kind. It would, there was a bunch of them, but a one of a kind uh, opportunity to get one of the major branded uh, with the logo chairs. They were doing so for November, actually. Yes. Um, so you can check that out. I don't know the exact link for that, but it was on their Twitter. I'm sure they'll refresh that. Uh, and if you want to just jump into the November stuff, you can do so at fce.gg slash csgo underscore mo. CS underscore mo, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, donate. Anders is apparently going to be shaving down to his uh, mustache pretty soon. And we might Ah, the chair was actually already sold for 315 pounds. That's pretty good. There we go. Thank you very much to the person who bid on that for a great cause. Yeah, absolutely. Get a chair for it. Not bad. You donate and win. This Fugly gets Nitro. Nitro did find Ethan beforehand. Twists using his head to uh, smash a bottle. It's a bit of a bar trick. As Breezy wants to go around the corner and take him down, he's got other problems because Nap is also there. That sees Ed in the corner. He wants the gun. He wants to step out. Does, in fact, get the kill, but goes down immediately after. And then it's all hands on deck to control CT. Oh, okay. At least can cause some damage here. Needs to hit one of these eagle shots. Uh, not going to happen. Daps take him down as NRG get one round away from tying things up. Liquid. Struggling in the last few. They've lost three in a row now. Money's starting to stabilize. They have enough for an AWP. They could get two of them. Taco purchases the first. Or he plays that B-bomb side as the anchor. So uh, will Nitro join him with the orping responsibilities? Elise and Naf both get orcs. So uh, we'll take a tactical timeout for Liquid this time. They've got one left. They really are not looking at usual selves so far in this tournament. Pretty horrendous result yesterday. They had this one in the bag, but uh, all of a sudden, it's not looking too good for them. The only real success they've had so far is the pistol victory in the follow-up anti-eco round win. But then, remember, it came down to a 1v1 against four eco players and one AK. So, next round begins. Number 26, we're going the full distance now. We'll see what happens here as the double orb setup is deployed. Still not fully purchased into this one. Liquid will... Now, with a single lack of utility on Nitro and Taco, Taco is just a decoy. Fugly with the initial smoke. Luckily, the orb is not facing that initial angle. He'll get flashed off as he molotovs the van, but decides to fall back for now. He's ready to roll inside mid with an up close AUG. Naf also wielding one this time, but one round between them. This becomes a bit of a problem. And a bit desperate if you're liquid. Giving away a pretty substantial lead. I think it was 12 6 at a point. Do get the op shot off from Taco. Still sits on 53 HP. At least on this off angle shadow shows. There you go. There's another example of it. Nearly gets a lineup for it. Sark in turn puts him down, but it's still the advantage to liquid. Four on three. Breezy. Sark and Daps. See if this is possible now. Liquid. The first promising situations they've had in a while. It's up to Nitro. There's now Cirque boosted up. Through the window he goes, and Molotovs will be deployed. Very tense situation here. 25 seconds remaining. The bomb's only just being collected now by Daft. That's all the way back. Basically, in T-Spawn, he's have to book it all the way towards the ramp, and Nitro is in such a prime position. I don't think they can wait for that bomb to arrive. They really have to make their way through. As uh, we'll see, the first kill coming out from Sark gets the double as well. AK-47 is the weapon in hand. Usually with the AWP, finds the majority of his kills. With five seconds remaining, the bomb will be planted. Four seconds on the clock. It could be denied. Not quite. They've stolen this round right back. Courtesy of Sir, but they line up. Not quite. Actually, hidden mistake for the A-X-ray there. 
Yeah, Taco behind and the box. Mark, both half HP. They have got a kit, but this was their round in the bag. It's all falling apart. Naf wants to work in. They have to win this again. This becomes another reset problem for Liquid. The money's just not there. Breeze steps out. Naf gone. Taco, who started this with the kill, the opening kill of the round, now has to get two more with an AWP working and knows the Daps is on the site somewhere. But where's Breeze? He can't hit it with an O-scope. Tried it. And it's 13-13. Liquid, my goodness. This is catastrophic. Remember, it's Overpass next, which is NRG's best map, hands down. Liquid are not looking their best today. This could be a 2-0 in favor of NRG. We haven't obviously got this map victory yet, but it's another eco. NRG going to take the lead. Like, Liquid just looks so flat, and Overpass isn't a map you see them play all that often, to be honest. It's not one of their absolute best, so NRG, they, they might have this one in the bag. This is an actual catastrophic performance. And an excellent one from Cirque in that previous round. He's normally heralded it as this great AWP, but definitely proficient with the rifles as well. As we saw, that AK-47, the flank coming in for the connector. Great nade coming through. Doesn't do as much damage as you'd think, as they have got Kevlar with these CZs. As they've uh, reached maximum loss bonus at this point. They can't catch a break in the second half. They've got one gun round to their name, and that was after what, five or six against and then got reset. They did win the pistol and the follow of anti eco but that's about all they've done. Lee's Nitro, his victims. Taco perhaps is next, just he'll get that kill as well. Twist, the only one left alive. Twist on 8 and 17, like... Uh, that says enough right there, doesn't it? it it's it's a bit of an issue, because he is considered the absolute best player right now, like, in this team, and when he's on, like, top form, like, he's unreal, like a god. And against NRG as well, you'd expect him to be going up there with the big names in this squad, like the Ethans and the Breezy, even Fugly, he's got 22 kills. He's going above and beyond a twist. Dabs just looks is, absent. Dabs is the best Canadian in the server right now with 16 That's kills. That's true. That says something when you have Naf and Twist in the server. That is pretty wild. Yeah, when Twist doesn't turn up for these sort of games and they're struggling, like you can see why, because he is such a enigmatic presence on the server. So strong, so difficult to handle. Normally players know how to shut him down, but hasn't been able to arrive here just yet. 14-13, NRG looking for map point. Remember, Overpass next, their best map, up against maybe one of Liquid's weakest. So yeah, that's, that's quite cool. Huge problem, and Nitro at least gets Breezy down. They can push forward on that if they elect to, to do so. They're actually going to fall off the first kill. No need to give up too much. Liquid one down after being 12-6 up, if I'm not mistaken. Twist goes forward. So they will push Palace rather than back out toward a main. Problem is the Daps is already well removed from that situation and is actually sort of in between, if you will, Twist and Nitro. Twist with 22 just wants to hold the angle. Can't afford to get too aggressive on this. They're going to try and take mid and go toward A. Playing off the, the positioning that Daps now has. Naf, smoke down, flash out. Tries to spray into the smoke and connector and hope that he could find one, but... Ethan instead flashing through. He stares at it. Fires with perfect timing, but traded off. Naf's able to get Fugly in return. It's still the favor for Liquid. As Nitro holds inside of the site, knows that Daps is coming from A main. That's exactly when Twist wants to get in behind him. Great play from Daps. Off angle, gets high on the balcony, but here's Twist. 22 HP, free kill on Daps. Add another one to his tally. That makes nine. Cirque looks back in his direction, but Taco can still work in from CT. Smokes down. That allows Twist out, but he actually sm smarter than that. Thinks that if he wants to work out, Cirque might push through. Cirque, ahead of that still, stays inside of the smoke. So it's a bit of a cat and mouse game for Toward Amain as they both play off of each other and very nearby. Oh, now, oh, good hit shot from Taco. I was going to say, now that smoke actually favors Cirque. So a brilliant shot from the AWP. I wonder if Taco could see him or whether it was just like damn luck, just hoping for the best shooting for the smoke. I, by the looks of the smoke, I think he might have seen a gun barrel or shoulder or something like that. But uh, still... A sigh of relief. They need to avoid the reset now, Matt, because they've all got like 16k on the NRG side. One player survives for Liquid. Lose this round, it's just definitely GG. They have to find match point first. No two ways. Oh, yeah, it, it was dumb luck. Yeah, so he gets a, an educated guess as to where he is. With that shot missed, Cirque wins, hands down. Yeah, because that, yeah, all he has to do is play the backside of the smoke. Yeah. Hold the diffuse. Easy peasy. 14 14. Not a lot of money on the liquid side. They yeah. elected to go with two Famases. This is GG. They lose this round. Absolutely. All five players go down, it's over. Ethan already up on Palace. Naf outside of the balcony playing upper, not in shadow. And the execution, a full execution on A this time. 
Twist was on Firebox. He likes to drop off it. One of the off angle, perhaps, against the smoke, but now has to be very careful on how to play this. Blinded yet again. They emerge from Palace, and Naps forced off the angle. He's sitting in the open, so he's got to be perfect in his positioning. Flashes back out from his teammates. Couldn't get anywhere near position, but Smokes have a timer, and the timer needs to be about now. Energy's got to go. Daps in. Crossfire set. Nap finds the kill. Follows it. No, he does not. Bugly gets it. Oh, and turns back to find Twist. What? That sets good awareness. Such a good raid. And Nitro misses shots. This could be GG because it's all on Taco. The setup was so good. The shots were so horrible. He has to He has to save this all. There's no way they're going to win the next round of nothing. He can't go for this. He can't even explore it. He can't look for a kill or exit. He needs to tuck himself in somewhere on the map where he can't be touched. They need this orb. He needs to hand it over to maybe Nitro or maybe a Nap fly at this point. Remember that the, the point uh, recently where Naps is like, look guys, just give me the orb, I'll get it done. But that is going to be a harsh, harsh reset here. A brawl on the A site. Breezy continues to look like an absolute god today. Really is one of the most up exciting upcoming players in NA right now. That was such a machine. And that's just, what a brilliant team like Daps has put together here. In terms of like unknown factors and players coming into this one. Taku, don't go for this. Not worth it. Not worth the one kill. They've got 16k. Oh my goodness, he's brave. Either way, he survives. Like I said, if he got that kill, then nothing. They've got 16k on two players. As ugly. Oh, he's looked great today as well. Really impressed by him. It's match point. Liquid have to fight for overtime here. A tactical timeout NRG. I love that, Matt. They're actually taking their time now. They've got a timeout left. They're a match point. They know the money's broken. Liquid side. They're talking about, right, we know he saved an orb. Where would they possibly put it? What would we do if we had the AWP here? And where can we eradicate him? How can we take him out of the situation? Is Taco who saves it? He'll probably keep it because he had armor there and a bit of utility, right? So he's probably going to hold on to the AWP. He normally plays B. He's not a flashy orper. He probably will just stay in the turret towards the B side. I don't think he'll be going for aggressive picks. So we'll see what they decide to do. But this could be it. Liquid just getting nothing done on their CT side. They want a pistol. A couple of rounds with... Remember, they won one single round... I guess you'd call it a gun round where they saved two M4s and they had three pistols and won one of those. A single gun round after that and the pistol victory. Their CT side has looked flattened. It was Launders to call this out. He hasn't been impressed with the Liquid setup so far. He said NRG should be the favorites in this one. If they pick up Mirage, I'd say a 2-0 is very probable. So there we go. Timeout coming to an end. It looks like it actually turns into a bit of a technical issue as uh, I can see the match being restarted right now so final round we've gone the full distance here we'll see who comes out on top tense moment though liquid yeah. missing their star player 9 and 20 for twists look one of the slowest performances he's had in a while look at this half four rounds only for liquid yeah unbelievable really okay so two UMPs a Deagle. Taco saves you. I'm interested to see whether he wants... Like I said, not a flashy orper. You can't really do much with him. He is good at orping the things he does, but I assume he just holds a turret towards B. And I, if I was taking an educated guess, I would say that's what he does. If I'm NRG right now, they'll smoke him off. And they're going to Molotov as well. But Bugly, he is playing with fire quite literally here. Goes through by himself. I'm so disappointed they go towards B with five players. That's Taco's position. You know he saved the orb. But surely that's where you're trying to avoid. But... Either way, I guess they may be assuming that Nitro has been giving it towards middle, but I would have think that would have been a safe bet to me. Stay away from B. A leash. UMP going to find, because this is sloppy from NRG. They're trying to just brute force their way into bomb sites. It hasn't worked out for them at all. Nice slow default. Use the smoke. Get map control. Work out that AWP is. They've all just tried to uh, use their, their brawn instead of their brains here. Ethan, boosted, waiting for that smoke to do. To do? To dissolve? To dissipate? To go away! Watched for connector until such time that he could get inside of the window, and Elise needs to be very cautious of this. Man advantage, 43 seconds. They're playing for overtime. And in desperate measures, considering they've now lost the window and the weapon's still unfavorable. But now look at information. Spot one toward connector, Elise downed. Circs the one with the shot. Ethan now can turn it around. Knows Daps was... Rather, excuse me, knows that Nap was running back toward B. So that puts them in a precarious position. In fact, full rotation. The They're going to hear it as well. Cirque's absolutely heard that. 
They're going to be. This bomb's going to rotate back through the vents. Nobody even sees them. They're too far gone. Cirk can post this with an op. I think this is over. Yeah, they've stuck the landing at least. It was looking disastrous for an RG with the initial approach. But you are right. Cirk locks it down. That's Taco going down. And the orb has to be recovered. We could see the GG here. It was a squeaky bomb time at the end there for an RG with the brute force approach towards the B bomb site. But Cirque confirms it. We're going 16-14. Nitro with no kit. They've been blown out of the water on their own map here. It's overpass next, and Liquid are not looking their absolute best here. They're going to have a real difficult task getting back in.